because if you're not doing your exams and you're only going to do predicted grades and IAs, you better make sure your IA is passed and it's probably too late to um, make it awesome if you're at this stage now. So the first one, the big one, now the, the way I've done the post is slightly different, so you might want to read that. I'm just going to go through this one and, and try and pick the major errors that are easy to fix so that you can still pass your IA. Now, first of all, I don't see research question written in here. Um, oh, there it is down there. You need to make sure this is uh, one single independent and dependent variable and it's specific. Okay, so that's your title. Uh, the second thing you need to do, because uh, we're going for personal engagement and we're just saying that you haven't done it right, so you need to do it right now, is, now, and this one, by the way, is a pass. This one is okay, but it could be better. Um, this needs to be expanded. So if you didn't do your research, go do it now and write creatively. Uh, find some sort of method that looks similar to yours and then pretend that you use that and changed it and say how you changed it and why you changed it. Okay, um, so that's going to hit you for exploration as well. And so you want to also make sure that you have more than one controlled variable and uh, at least three. Uh, you want to also, this one's not too bad, it's got instruments, it's got uncertainties, it's got units. It hasn't given me increments and actual values for everything, um, so I didn't know what these are. So this needs a lot more detail. Now we're just trying to get off the one, two and get ourselves into a passing stage. Uh, you may be doing an IA that's worth a seven and still get something out of this. I'm not quite sure. All right. So the other point that is commonly not done well uh, is the tables and graphs. Um, this one has got it done there. Uh, that's the European dot, apparently. That there goes a long way. Now, you don't do it here. Um, and this is... Um, I'll have to look at this one in a little bit more detail. I usually pick the biggest error and apply it to the whole lot. This one's done it slightly differently. The point being, just put it in there. Say you didn't measure it properly. This one probably wasn't measured properly, to be honest. This probably should be going up in plus or minus 0.5s, and they haven't read it properly, which is annoyingly common. Just say what the real error is according to your data. Don't try and fake anything and, and try and put the correct uncertainty in there, because everyone can see that you didn't do that. Okay, which will take me down to the last point. Communication, there's nothing in here about your experiment actually being good and making sense and all that sort of stuff. As long as you're clear uh, and the pe person can understand it uh, and, if, and you've done your referencing, in-text referencing and your references section correct, you followed the standard heading, um, you should be able to get a two for that, two out of two. There's nothing in there about your experiment there. So that's an easy two marks. We're just trying to add little bits and extra pieces to push you over the line. Make sure you pass. Okay, uh, the other one is the conclusion. If the conclusion doesn't make sense, I mean, the experiment doesn't make sense, say that in the conclusion. Just say this data does not support the, the hypothesis that this, this, and this. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Um, we're also looking for um, errors, uncertainties. That's huge. Uh, and this one is not the way to do it. Okay, so I have a template out there that I prefer to use because it makes sure you have more than three minimum three and by putting these little lines in here um, you can see that there are gaps so is it systematic or is it random what is the error how does the error affect the actual result does it make it go up or down and how do you solve it uh, and a table is the only way uh, paragraphs just don't cut them people aren't disciplined or understand the structure or see it and it's not even clear enough to the markers to see that you've hit all four points and you've got four different errors as well um, so sort of non-negotiable in my in my sort of requirements it's the only way you can get it okay so what else have i missed to fix up those little bits and pieces i think that's about it uh, i might have one or two more points um, so please have a look at the post okay thank you